hello guys in this session we are going to see c program for chain of pointer concept so let us start so first declare header file then there should be main function entry point of c program it should return zero value now i will take one integer variable which is holding 10 value and the address of a variable I am going to store inside pointer 1 inside pointer 1 getting so see you can call this pointer as single pointer okay now how to initialize this pointer so initialize this pointer by assigning the address of integer variable so see we have already a variable created I am assigning the address of a variable to this single pointer getting so this is simple use of single pointer now what i am going to do i am printing here value of a directly value of a person b comma e getting and then now i am printing value of a with the help of pointer getting so value of a using picture one now how to print that value now see let us see the demonstration suppose we have this pointer sorry we have a variable consider this is a variable and it has in value inside in it then we have pointer variable it here getting so here how I am initializing this PTR I am assigning the address of A so this pointer is pointing to sorry this pointer is pointing to a variable getting so consider suppose the address of a is 1000 or 100 i am assigning this address inside ptr inside ptr getting so I am storing the address of a variable inside ptr so this is single pointer now how to print value of this a with the help of ptr so ptr ptr has 100 which is nothing but address of a now how to get this 10 value with the help of this 100 so star ptr value at PTR or value at address getting so let us see output of this program first PTR is undeclared so PTR1 Value of A is 10 and value of A is using PTR is also 10. Getting so we have seen the single pointer concept. This is simple pointer concept. Now we'll see double pointer concept. So what I will do, I will take double pointer. See star star PTR2. So PTR2 is double pointer here. Getting now the double pointer is pointer which stores the address of another pointer see single pointer is a pointer which stores the address of simple variable but double pointer is a pointer which which is used to store the address of another pointer so how to initialize double pointer by assigning address of 
another pointer getting so see ptr2 is double pointer and ptr1 is single pointer so i am assigning the address of single pointer to ptr2 getting now see suppose i want to print value of using double pointer or simply ptr2 then i should use here star star ptr2 star star ptr2 so consider this is double pointer this is ptr2 this is ptr1 so consider address of ptr1 is 200 so which is stored in ptr2 so ptr2 is pointing to ptr1 getting so see ptr2 has 200 ptr2 has 200 ptr1 has 100 and a has 10 so ptr2 is not directly pointing to a it is pointing to ptr1 first then ptr1 is pointing to a getting so star ptr will give 10 getting and star ptr 2 will give 100 and star star ptr 2 will give 10 getting so star star ptr will give 10 so let us see the output of this ten, ten, ten. Getting. one more pointer you can also see triple pointer Suppose there is star 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 ptr3 getting now what is triple pointer it is a pointer which is used to store the address of double pointer getting. So ptr3 equal to address of ptr2 ptr3 so consider the address of ptr2 is 300 so which is stored in ptr3 so ptr3 is pointing to ptr2 ptr2 is pointing to ptr1 and ptr1 is pointing to a getting so see a has 10 ptr1 has 100 star ptr1 has a getting ptr2 has 200 star ptr2 has 100 star star ptr2 has a getting ptr3 has 300 star ptr3 has 200 star star ptr3 has 100 and star 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 ptr3 has 10 getting so let us see the output of this program okay. 10 10 10 so here we have directly printed value of a here we have printed value of a using single pointer here we have printed value of a by using double pointer here we have printed value of a by using triple pointer so this is what chain of pointer see this is nothing but this is a chain chain of pointer getting so this is simple c program which demonstrate the use of chain of pointer thank you